graduate chemistry student at LMH and I'm taking over the Snapchat for today. So I want to show you the typical day that a chemistry student at Oxford and more specifically at LMH might have. So typically you start your day with lectures from 9 till 11, so that adds up to 10 lectures a week. It's kind of hard when you're a fresher to get used to. However, now I'm in third year, my lectures have kind of wrapped up a bit and I only have four a week, which is lovely. So that's why I'm currently just sitting in my room doing a little bit of work but obviously not too much because it's so early in the morning <laughs> and I'll be heading to labs at 11. The Oxford Chemistry course is currently the top rated course by the Unit Complete University Guide in the country. Uh, it's really really thorough, offers great great depth of information and in your fourth year you get the opportunity to delve more into research that interests you specifically. Uh, so currently I'm applying to those projects at the moment and meeting with uh, group leaders that are doing things that interest me in chemistry currently and you spend your entire fourth year just research based and you write a thesis at the end so you don't have any lectures, tutorials or anything like that, no more teaching, it's just research focus which is really really great and a really good opportunity to have. So the labs are new as of last year and they've got really really great facilities and equipment. I'm current, currently just um, evaporating some water off my product with this, so you bring it down to a really low vacuum pressure which then reduces the boiling point making it way easier to take any water or solvent remaining in your product off. <laughs> So we're back from labs, have had a spot of lunch and I was just going to quickly show you my room because I'm in third year, I kind of get the, the nicest rooms in college um, but my room in second year was also lovely. Um, so as you walk in um, you have an ensuite which is lovely, um, big big shower, a nice sink area. Um, and then a big double bed, which is brill, um, lots of places to put folders. Um, as you can see, it was my birthday recently, so that's why I've got loads of cards up. Um, yeah, beautiful view of Denneke, that's where I lived in first year. And then also, um, all rooms have a pin board, which you can do whatever you like with. And then a nice little kind of walk-in wardrobe space, where um, there's so much room to store everything. So I'm about to head to a doctor's appointment and they happen on site with an LMH, a GP visit twice a week which is so, so convenient. We also have a nurse on site Monday to Friday from 8 till 3 and that's amongst one of the many, many welfare provisions that are offered in college. We LMH were recently voted the top college in Oxford for welfare provisions so we're always looking after physical and mental health. So unlike what I think it's like with kind of humanities subjects, in especially the physical sciences, what happens is you submit a problem sheet, uh, depending on your course and for chemistry, at LMH we submit basically on average one problem sheet a week. And then a tutorial is used to go through the problems that were on the sheet and highlight any areas of weakness and have a discussion and ask some questions about it. For chemistry, all of your examinable content is based on the lectures and what happens is your tutors highlight any areas that they think are really important to go over and problems that are more challenging maybe and they will do those and set them as problems and then you know go through them with you and leave sometimes a bit more trivial stuff for you to work out for yourself. 
It's worth saying as well that LMH Chemistry is quite like a bit of a community because the tutors are so friendly, they organise loads of social activities for us, so every year we have an annual dinner, we have an annual drinks, and uh, we just have a really good time with our tutors in tutorials, like loads of jokes are cracked, and it's a really, really nice atmosphere to learn in. There's no, it's not like being at school, um, it's very adult and you're kind of all on the same level, which is really nice. So in the third year buildings we have really really great kitchen facilities and we live on floors of eight and we all share a really social kitchen. So here we've got Leo Hi. cooking dinner and Rosie and Alexandra and it's lovely. There's a little balcony outside where we can sit in the summer and we're all really excited to do that. Um, so yeah, three fridges between eight, you can't complain. Okay guys, all wrapped up and done for the day. I finally finished these questions. They took forever, but I wouldn't usually work this late. Um, it's kind of a rare occasion. Just had a super busy day and also had a nap a bit earlier. So that meant I didn't do any work. Um, but I hope you enjoyed my day in the life of a chemistry student and thanks for watching. Also, I forgot to say, if you're a potential applicant thinking about maybe applying or maybe not, my advice would be definitely go for it. I came from a state school background, I didn't get much help or interview prep at all really, just read why chemical reactions happen by Keeler and Werther's, which is very classic. Um, did okay in the interviews and now I'm really doing well in my degree, so um, definitely, definitely go for it.